So we are actually in the ProVeg incubator. Look at this. We've got a kitchen in the corner of the incubator. How cool is that? Now, everybody else is gone. <laughs> it's just me, as always, uh, staying to the end. And it's a really interesting um, kind of first day because I did miss um, about three quarters of a day. Um, I came in at the end when we were doing a little bit of networking, getting to know each other, which was really nice as well. Um, but just to take you down the road slightly, so the ProVeg Incubator is just here pretty much in the, in the middle of uh, Berlin in one of their kind of more businessy districts as well. But right next door to them, it's an absolutely amazing shop, which I'm going to take you in. It is exactly what you'd expect the ProVeg Incubator to be next to. So while I was in Luxembourg, the only vegan food I could really find was stuff like this, <laughs> which is fine. You know, we all need our fruit and veg. But coming down here, let me just show you what I walked into when I came to look at the shop earlier. So straight away, we're going through um, some very nice bread and the bakery, but then we get to the vegan section on the floor there we go vegan and we have got so much vegan stuff here we've got it's like vegan heaven we've got about 10 different vegan cheeses we've got all the cream cheeses we've got all the vegan hams and the salamis it just goes on and on and on we've got like beef strips like chicken wings and um, lots of stuff with a v label on which is very predominant uh, here in Germany, as you would imagine. We've got the flaffles, and this is only one of the fridges that we're getting at the moment. Um, just so much stuff, vegan kids' food. It's amazing to see some vegan kids' food actually on the shelf. And we've got the, bland, uh, the brands that you know, like Planted, um, and we've got some vegetarian butcher, and that goes on and on and on. So I guess you kind of expect that next to ProVeg, but it's wonderful to see. And just the whole of Berlin, I've been so impressed with how much vegan stuff there is. But what's interesting is from talking to some of the people who I've met who live here in Berlin and Germany, this doesn't necessarily spread across the rest of the country. It's very Berlin specific about having all this vegan food in one place. Um, I passed several vegan restaurants on the way, uh, coming on the, the, the overground rail, um, lots of vegan places, lots of vegan stuff going on. So it really is a vegan hub but it's not really spread across the whole of the country yet. Just walking back to the hotel. Uh, interestingly, when I just left the shop, an American gentleman said to me that my English was very good. So I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> That's obviously it is. Um, so just reflections on the first day. So as I said, um, I, I did miss uh, a massive part of the first day, which uh, just couldn't be helped with, with the conference. Um, but just looking at the agenda that they've been through, they've done some wonderful workshops today. Um, one thing about ProVeg is that they attract just so many uh, great people, people who've got real career and business experience in lots of different industries, uh, people who built up careers before they turned vegan and then once they turned vegan, moved into uh, this marketplace. Um, one of the guys who is a mentor, uh, Shay, on the program. Uh, he's ex-Microsoft and he's run um, massive analytical companies and things like that. So it's really great to see um, so much expertise being available to us on this incubator. Uh, one person who I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot from is uh, Mr. Matthew Glover. Uh, he's here for the week as a mentor as well. He's going to be doing a couple of sessions with us um, as well as lots of other really interesting people too. So just, just so much kind of wealth of knowledge that we're going to have in the room. Another great thing that I picked up on is I think how much collaboration there's going to be between the people who are on the incubator. I mean, I um, because I arrived late, I was given five minutes just to introduce myself and talk about Vegan Business Tribe and what our idea is and what we're going to do next. And so many people came up to me afterwards and said that they saw a lot of similarities with their own careers, for instance. You know, they turned vegan whilst doing something else. And, you know, they one person I was talking to, they were actually uh, working for a very large food manufacturer at the time when they turned vegan. Um, and they felt that they didn't have that, that support, I guess, and that way to be able to champion veganism within a, uh, within a large organisation. So that really sort of ties into what we're looking to do with Vegan Business Tribe as well. So I think there's going to be a lot of collaboration. I think there's going to be a lot of support. And I think hopefully we're going to make some friends for life. <laughs>
<laughs> that sounds a little bit corny, perhaps. But, you know, just, just the, the, the people who are all on this incubator, they are truly on the same mission. And one thing I always say at Vegan Business Tribe is if you surround yourself with people who are on the same mission as you are, that just makes it so much easier. You know, it makes it so much easier to build what you're trying to build. And that's why we built Vegan Business Tribe, to bring more, more vegan business people together. Okay, I'm going to head back to the hotel. I've kind of just been wondering... And talking, so I'm not 100% sure where I am at the moment. Uh, but let's keep going. I found my way back, and we are staying at a very nice place called the Hotel Lulu. So let me just take you inside. Uh, you might actually be able to see, just as we're going uh, uh, back in, uh, sat over there having a drink is Mr. Mr. Matthew Glover. Someone you might recognise there, gives away, fantastic. Sat there with, with Tobias. And so let me take you into the hotel, because it's a lovely building. And if you just look behind me here, look at all this amazing stuff. It's a little bit of an eco hotel, which is a, a wonderful place for us to be housed in. And then as we come in the room, look at this. It is a four poster bed with drapes over the top. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, what a lovely hotel to be put up in for a week. This is uh, far better than kind of the, the ship's cabins that I've been in for the last um, the last few nights. So that's kind of it for today. So not, not a lot of actual uh, information to report because I didn't, um, I, I didn't actually take part in, in that much of the incubator today. Um, but the work starts now. So the first session is 9am tomorrow morning. I'm going to try and get there an hour early. I'll try and get there for eight so I can get set up, get my laptop there. Uh, just catch up on my e emails more than anything else. I mean, I have to remember I'm still running a business while I'm, I'm going through this incubator. So having that little bit of workspace to just catch up on things is going to be really valuable too. And um, I'll hopefully see you tomorrow and tell you what I learned. See you later. <laughs>